New at 11, we've seen the towering neon lights. There they are, the Rio Hotel, basked in glory after opening way back in 1990. But the decades that followed showed some of that luster diminish. 8 News Now reporter Ryan Matthews shows us the new owner and the new money that could bring the vibrancy back. The tables were full, the celebrities were plentiful, and the pools were electric. The Rio Hotel and Casino, once as bright as its neon lights. This is the worst casino hotel in Las Vegas. But that neon has faded. With abandoned mall vibes, it is falling apart. As its luster diminished from its 90s to 2000s peak, the casino and pools, once full of spending customers, dripped empty with business. But new owners have taken the keys the first time in a couple decades, and they say to expect more white walls like this in the coming year as they transform the historic hotel to not what it was, but what's new. Historically, before we took over, you were waiting on a four hour line to check in. Eric Birnbaum saw the lacking guest experience, but fondness for nostalgia as opportunity. His New York real estate company, Dreamscape, purchased the property in 2019 for $516 million. We always felt that it had the potential to be brought back to what it once was. It just needed the capital, it needed the right management team, Team, and it needed the attention and focus. Caesars Entertainment has continued to operate it since the sale. Dreamscape got the keys in October. Dancing the dance of a $340 million renovation while simultaneously still operating. Everything needed to be rethought, reimagined, and ultimately changed. It started with renovating 1,500 suites in its Impanima Tower while redecorating its convention space, converting its buffet into a food hall, revamping its pools, reopening its wine cellar, and making the outside as vibrant as remembered. You can't fool the customer, you can't fool the guests, they'll know. Uh, and all the blogs and all the TikToks and all that will ultimately see the truth. And the truth is, is that at where we're positioning this project, and what we're delivering to the guest will speak for itself. The guest will have the final say when the project ends in 2025. Ryan Matthew, 8 News Now.